Hi, I'm Ariana, and today we'll be making Mexican baked strawberry empanadas. So, I have everything laid out. I did it myself, well, my cooking crew, but it was me, you know. Uh, we all put it out already. So, the recipe starts with adding cornstarch and sugar to a small bowl. Let's add those in. Okay. Now, we're going to move over to the stove. So let's take our water and our butter and let's move over to the stove. So we add our water and we add our butter. Oh, is it going to come out? Yeah. Okay, and well, we're going to turn it on. Okay, now we're going to wait for those to, the butter to melt a little. Let me grab my spoon. We're going to wait for the butter to melt a little. Shouldn't take very long at all. Okay, now that all the butter is melted into the water and it's all nice and mixed together, we are going to start adding our sugar and cornstarch mixture that we did before. Now we're adding this slowly and making sure that we're stirring it in as we go. Okay, let's see. Come on. It's gonna form into a thick mixture once it's all in and once it's finished and we finish stirring it. This is going to be part of our filling. Kind of tedious work, putting in a little bit at a time, but it's okay. It's already getting thicker and lighter in color, which is good. Oh, it's bubbling too, so. It's thickening up quite nicely. This is gonna be poured over our strawberries and then we're going to put that into our nice tortillas that we already have set out. Almost to the bottom of the bowl. Almost there. Our cats are walking through the kitchen. They want to be involved. It's going to be yummy, so I know why they would want to be. Almost there. Last little bits of powder coming in. Oh, spill a little bit, but it wouldn't be me if we didn't spill it. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's nice and thick. We're going to let it sit for a couple more minutes and nice and thick enough, and then we're going to take it off the heat, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. While we were gone, we took the mixture out of the pot and we put it into this bowl to cool down a little. Um, after it was cooled for like a couple minutes, we added in our almond vanilla and we mixed that all together. And now that it's room temperature, a little bit warmer, we are ready to get our strawberries and get our mixture and we're going to pour them into a bigger bowl. We're going to pour in the strawberries first. Oh, make sure we get all of them out. That one didn't want to leave. We're going to pour this in slowly because it's pretty thick, so we want to make sure that we get it over all the strawberries. So let's start mixing them together. I'm gonna use my hands, but it's a little sticky, and I have to serve this out with people. So. Okay, let's put in a little bit more. It's definitely sweet. I did taste it, and it's definitely sweet, so it should be very yummy. getting nice and sweet and sticky all over these strawberries. We used about a carton of strawberries for this um, for about six empanadas. So we might have a little bit more strawberries than we need, but that's okay. A little extra strawberries never hurt anybody. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure we get all of it out. So I'm gonna use my spoon and scrape down the sides and pour it into the bowl. Cannot wait to eat these. Mm, so yummy. So we already preheated our oven to 375 um, and they're going to go in for about 15 to 20 minutes um, until or until they're goldenish brown. Um, it obviously depends on how hot your oven is. So we're going to put set the timer in a little bit for 15 minutes and then we'll put them in. We'll be able to eat them soon. I'm so hungry. Okay. The almond vanilla, you can really smell the almond. It smells really good. I love almonds. They're nice and coated and sticky. Okay, now we have our tortillas out already. So we have six tortillas out. We're gonna spoon a little bit of the strawberry mixture into the center of each tortilla. 
So let's get a little bit, a nice amount. I might take a couple scoops, but that's okay. Because they're sticky, you don't want to put too many in. This is a pretty small spoon. So we cut our strawberries into about, we cut them in half, and then we cut them in half again, um, just to make sure that we had enough. And we didn't want them to be too big. So I think that's a good, uh, a good amount of strawberries. I'm gonna roll it like a burrito, rolling, and I'm gonna roll it again, just nice like that. Now, we're going to seal up the sides because we want to make sure that our mixture stays inside. We don't want it to come spilling out when it's cooking. Seal up this side, and then we're gonna seal up this side. Nice, nice. Okay, oh, look, well, it's fine because we're gonna have butter and sugar on top and it'll seal it all together. So we have our melted butter already out. We've had it out for a little while. Make sure, we'll just give it a quick mix because it's been out for a little while. I'm gonna seal it all in with our nice butter and, and then we're gonna put our cinnamon sugar on top. It should be so, so yummy when we're done. Look at that. Make sure we get it on the ends too. Okay, gonna get our cinnamon sugar, sprinkle it on top, just like you would do a, a churro. Cause that's kind of what we're going for. We're going for like a churro empanada. It's gonna be really, really yummy. Okay, we have it all nice. So I'm gonna lay it down on the baking sheet, which we've already prepared. We put down foil and then we put down um, a little bit of baking, uh, cooking spray because we want to make sure that it was gonna stay. Um, so I'm gonna continue with the rest of them and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So while we were gone, we put them all back and we got everything ready to go and they're all on the baking sheet. And we're about to put them in the oven. So we already have an oven on, as I already said. So we're just gonna open it on and slip these onto the top rack. Let's see, let's not touch the rack, that would hurt. Okay, put nice in there. Now we're going to put the kitchen timer on for about 15 minutes, and we'll see how they go in 15 minutes. Okay, it started. We'll be back when they're done. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. We're ready to take them out. They look good. They're sizzling a little, but that's okay. Okay. They're nice and golden brown. Mm, they smell really good. Okay. So now we're going to take, oh, let's take this one, I think. Oh, where is it going to come up? Uh, oh, okay. Okay, we're going to take you. I'm going to put you on the dish. We're going to take this one too. I'm gonna take two off, the, off for now, let the other ones cool down a little. I'm gonna put them nice on the dish next to each other. Got some whipped cream ready to put on top for garnish. And a little whipped cream on one. Oh, oh they're hot, so the whipped cream is sliding. <laughs> okay, some whipped cream for the other one. Okay, that one didn't slide. We're gonna do a little bit more cinnamon sugar. Right on top, and then we're gonna actually grab a couple, I have a couple leftover strawberries, so I figure put them to good use. We'll put them right on top too. Two. Oh, oh my goodness, it's slippery and sliding. That's fun. Okay, there we go. We have Mexican empanadas. They look really, really yummy. Okay, thanks for baking with me. See you next time. The empanadas are traditionally served in Mexico, hence Mexican strawberry empanadas, and they can be used as a dessert um, for pretty much any Mexican meal. They're not served at a specific time. However, they would be really good at weddings and parties, in my opinion, because they're really yummy. Um, but yeah, 